All right, so here we have the Ultra Boost sneakers and stuff, social status consortium shoe. Again, I'm a size 12. I took out the insole so that you can see, so that you can see when they do a consortium shoe, I love the details on it. It is leather. I have not worn <laughs> this shoe. I sound like a broken record because <clears throat> I feel like the shoes that I legit put on my feet are ultra boots that I'm going to be using for the gym and just kind of just beat down. Now, uh, when it's a pair of shoe like this, um, especially when it's, it's not a typical shoe that you could just walk into the store and buy. I want to keep just to keep them. I love the whole punch there. It is a consortium shoe, so it is going to tell you. I like the handshake. I think it looks pretty cool. I haven't used them, and I think I haven't because I do have the Ultra Boost, the creams. So when it when it comes to like a cream shoe, I've been using those, but I've been meaning to shoot this video so that I can I can actually wear them now. I feel like once I shoot the video, you guys have seen them brand new dead stock. Of course, they they fit just like any of the Ultra Boost, but this material is a little bit different. Um, but I should start wearing them, especially these because they they look they look great. They look amazing. I just I haven't worn them. Adidas on this side. It's almost like a sweater, sort of, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can say they're like a sweater. This is suede. It's like a buttery suede. <clears throat> and they look good, too. I checked on, I checked on StockX just now. Nobody, nobody's selling them. But then you look at the bid that people are trying to buy them for, like 55 bucks. I'm not gonna sell them for $55, especially a shoe like this. Um, I think the reason why I bought this shoe too is because OS Teddy and Hess Kicks. Those are the two guys that I, OS Teddy on YouTube and Hess Kicks on YouTube. Those are the two guys that drawed me towards the Ultra Boost. And they reviewed the this pair of shoe on their channel, and I really liked when they did it. <clears throat> and I bought them, but I just haven't I haven't worn them because when it comes to shoes, there's there's certain shoes that I just wear and kind of like beat up. And again, this one has the insole, which is more comfortable. This one doesn't have the insole, and to me, it's not that comfortable. When it comes to certain shoes, I they're like pieces of art. Especially when it comes to consortium shoes, it's like an artwork. Somebody spent the time to create the shoe. Somebody spent the time to give you their thoughts and opinions and to put it in perspective. Like these materials, is, is not, it's just not something that is normal. And to me, when it comes to shoes like this, when it comes to somebody's hard work and dedication, like I respect that. And there's a reason why I haven't beat them up. It's the reason why I haven't wanted to, I haven't been wanting to wear them because it's a great looking shoe. I love the shoe. It's not something that you'll probably see again. Well, maybe you will, but they haven't done, Adidas hasn't done many consortium shoes lately. So I have no idea, but this is the shoe. I really like it. Again, I'm late to the video, but I'm also late on YouTube. Hopefully, now that I'm doing more and more videos, you'll probably see some more content. I have a ton of more shoes to go through, which I will. But um, these are not that expensive. If, if you if, if you want a pair of shoe like this, if you're looking for that neutral 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 color like this, uh, I will go for it. I'm not going to sell these. These are going to stay in my collection. They've been in my collection for a long time. I moved two, two, three different houses by then, uh, and I kept them. So highly recommend it. Let me know what you think.